So let's have a look at the golden S sign or the reverse S sign of golden. And I'm going to use this chest x-ray as an example because it demonstrates beautifully some of the features that we should be looking for when we encounter this sign. So if you have a look at this chest x-ray, we can see clearly that there are features of right upper lobe collapse. We can see this horizontal fissure here has been pulled right upwards towards this area of collapse. Uh, it's got this concave shape. Our right hemidiaphragm similarly has been pulled upwards. It would normally be sitting around here. There's some significant movement of that right hemidiaphragm comparing it to the left. The trachea itself has deviated now towards the right, usually central or slightly to the right. It's now been pulled across to that area of volume loss. And the rib spacing here has become crowded in this local area of volume loss. If we have to compare it to the other side, we can see that there is a difference in the rib spacing on contralateral sides. Now this rib spacing is due to two reasons. One, to volume loss in this area here, local volume loss. But two, we can see that this left lung has hyper-expanded a flattened left hemidiaphragm to compensate for the uh, lack of ventilation and perfusion happening on the right side. Now we can see here that this concave shape to this uh, horizontal fissure with that pulling up or volume loss in that right upper lobe reaches an inflection point and then becomes convex. And this is the S that we are looking for, the reverse S sign of golden or the golden S sign. And what it suggests is that there's a central obstructing mass here that is causing this right upper lobe collapse. And it's this feature that we, when we see it, we need to raise our index of suspicion for a primary bronchogenic carcinoma. This is a sinister feature on a chest x-ray. And we really need to think that there could be a primary neoplasm within the lung. Now, another reason I like this x-ray is because it brings up another point, and that's satisfaction of search. Now, as a radiologist or a clinician looking at this chest x-ray, it's easy to find an abnormality like this, tick the box and be tempted to move on to the next patient. But as a good radiologist, we need to go and examine the rest of the film and look for other features, especially when we have a suspicion of an underlying etiology of a neoplasm or something that, that could be metastatic. We need to go and look for features of metastasy. And sure enough, if we look at the distal clavicle here, we can see that this distal portion is, has got this loosened or lytic lesion here. And as well as looking at the 10th rib, if we follow it down, I don't know how well it projects, we lose the cortex here, and this whole area here, we can't see the 10th rib before it continues again. And that is another feature of potential metastatic disease. Now, this patient needs further workup. We can't go and sit back and follow this patient up. This patient now needs a CT or something to investigate these features further. So I hope you've learned something today or at least consolidated some of your knowledge YouTube thinks you will like that video over there, so why not give it a watch? Otherwise, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.